guys, I'm Michael. I'm Ricky. We are Mr. Collectibles, and today we are going to be opening up uh, some Big Apple collectible mystery boxes. Now, these are the Hunt for the Planet Arlia Vegeta uh, Dragon Ball Z Pop uh, from Toy Tokyo a few years ago. They're estimated at about $4,000. And so in this box, there are uh, 12 pops, two mystery boxes each of six. Uh, trying to hunt down and get them. Uh, these came out back in like September at some point. And uh, yeah, I don't know how many boxes that there are, but there were three uh, of the Planet Arlia Vegetas in these mystery boxes. So uh, obviously the chances are very uh, few and far between. Yeah. But we're going to see what we get. They were about 60 bucks. Uh, you get about six pops, so 10 bucks a pop anyway. We'll do it. And then, Ricky, why don't you tell them what you got over here as the appetizer to start us off with? I got the Dumpster Fire Thursday sale from October 27th. Yeah, so, so. in that is from Mystery Grill, our yep. buddies over at Mystery Grill that we uh, usually buy a lot of mystery boxes from that you've seen in the videos before. Yep. Um, but yeah, what we got in there is uh, you got two of the mystery boxes, right? There's two mystery boxes, and from what I gather, you get guaranteed one pop and then one Dumpster Fire pop. Yeah, so... So it could be a grail, it could be just a common, but it just, it depends. So, yeah, so, yeah. all right, uh, what are the top hits? Uh, what is it, Freddy Funko from SDCC? The, so for the the top pop grail is a Freddy Funko from Box of Fun. Okay, yeah, so it's a Freddy Funko uh, yeah. uh, SDCC. Yep. So uh, let's open up that first, and we'll save this for the end. Uh, I got a box of these, uh, well, I got two, um, and then Ricky got two also, so we're going to do that in another video. As we try to see if we get the four thousand dollar Planet Arlia Vegeta, so do that for right now. Which one do you? Which one do you want to open? What is that? Pop plus trash. Oh, okay. it's a dump, oh, it's, it's, it's yeah. dumpster fire. Yeah, they made six. Oh, yeah, cool. so it's, it's dumpster fire. Yeah, here, I want to put, yeah, edit this. Okay, sorry about that. Phone was uh, acting up. Oh, right, yeah, so we got a sticker on there that says Pop Plus Trash. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, so yeah, those are those Dumpster Fire Pops, or not Dumpster Fire Pops, but they're the Dumpster Fire stuff that you see at, like, Hot Topic. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't know if they're, I'm assuming they must be Funko. They are. Okay, cool. I don't know if they were Funko or if they were Kid Robot. So, uh, yeah. They're, they're listed as uh, Funko, but they're there. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's crack them up. Let's see what we get. So yeah, these ones are different. These ones drop like on Wednesdays, I think, or they, they change this up. Uh, so this was a Thursday drop. Thursday drop, yeah. yeah. So, so these ones, they just started doing these, I think, in the month of October. Or, for, for right around Halloween is when they started. Yeah. Um, I've never seen these drop before, so this is the first for me. Yeah, this is the first time we've opened up these also. Uh, but as always, the regular Mystery Grails are Sundays, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, yep. 12 noon Pacific. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to get a pop in here, we're going to get some candy, we're going to get some tokens. So let's see what we get. Ready? Yeah. Three. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, three. Two. Oh, there is no, uh, there's no white. No. Uh, yeah, there's not. Okay. There's no, no like, privacy screen. No. All right. So this is literally just an open. All right. Let's see what we get. So I got my token. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, you got a Target exclusive. You got a Darth Vader. I got a Harley Quinn, it looks like. Let's see here. Oh, oh, so, peanuts. oh, so you were guaranteed a pop and a dumpster fire in each box. Yeah. Well, okay, you got yours in a pop shield, though. Yours came in a pop shield. Mine didn't. So, which so, one did you get? Did you get... You got... So, I got a Harley Quinn Black Mask Club from uh, Birds of Prey. Uh, this was the 2019 pop. Yep, 2019. Oh, I, got uh, the, I got the Halloween one. That's the Halloween. Did you get one of the one of the hits? I got the, the dumpster fire hit, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so I got that. And then mine is, I think, was it mine anything or mine's a standard? Here was a, com here was a common. Yeah, so I got a cam uh, common dumpster fire. We'll not open that because it looks like it was sealed and it hasn't been opened before. And then I got the uh, Darth Vader uh, lightning exclusive that from, glows Target. That, from Target that glows in the dark. Nice. And then I got the Halloween dumpster fire hit. So this is one of their premium hits. Nice. Good job. All right, let's see you. Uh, and this is sealed as well, so yeah, it's in a. That's in a cool though. It's in a it's seven in a, bucks a pop, pop shield, pop yeah. protector, and it's made. If you guys see, it is made for the dumpster. Yeah, that's so actually that's kind of cool. cool. Yeah. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what they're worth. We want to bust it out. See if the dumpster fires are on the Funko app. Yeah. Just give me a moment. Of course, my phone is being used at the moment uh, to record, so it's going to take a minute as we check prices. 
So Ricky's dumpster fire is. It'd be nice if he looked up. Not. Yeah, he no. uh, he's not on the Funko app, so that's fun. Well, I went oh, to, phone coming in clutch. Well, I went to the Hobby DB, which is I've been using more of, and it seems to be a little bit better. Uh, Why would you disgrace Funko like that? I'm not disgracing anybody. Well, you said you use them more. I do. So it looks like the fu the dumpster dumpsters card. aren't on there. Nope. Okay, all right. Well, that's not going to be fun to look up. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go pop value, regardless. So Harley Quinn. Oh goodness gracious! There we go. Okay, so Black Mask Club Harley Quinn, nine dollars. Oh boy. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna look up see if I can just find out the dumpster and fires on. Just like days. always, Android with the win. I'm I having get it. I'm having issues as always. Let me see here. Go into eBay to check out comparable prices. All right, so uh, Darth Vader electrocuted is twenty three. Twenty three? Oh, nice. That's yeah. a good point. All right, dumpster <laughs> fire vinyl figure. Here we go. Okay. So, which one do you have? You have the. I have the. I don't even. The, I'm, I'm just gonna call it the Halloween special. It's got a bunch of pumpkins. You, sir, have a pop that is worth. Okay, so first off, my pop, because my pop is very easy to find, about 15 bucks for that one. One okay. for 13, one for 22. So, oh, you might have actually gotten a good one, because uh, no one is selling this one. Like I said, this it shows on the thing as the... Magical Pumpkin Trash. There we go. That's how we look it up. Magical... You have to clear the... That should be fine. Magical Pumpkin Oh, okay, hey, that's not bad. Ricky's trash can thingy. Ricky's is, trash. You, you notice how he emphasizes on yeah, that. Yeah, Ricky's, Ricky's trash. trash. Going for about 35 bucks. Okay. So his whole box was about 60 bucks. Mine about was about I, 25. Yeah. What are they? How much were they every week, these ones? Were they... This was 60 for just the two. So 30 a piece. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I... They were lost a little bit of value on mine. Ricky I, got value. Yeah. So he's good there. Uh, we always got tokens, so let's do the tokens. Oh, no crybabies. No crybabies. And the standard 200 tokens, which equates to about two bucks, goes to Ricky since these are his uh, dumpster fire boxes. Just yeah. same with me, 200. Just 200. Yep, yeah, and we got uh, Tootsie Fruities as yeah. the candy this week. Throw that over there. All right. So that's that. So, so far, Ricky's got a commanding lead. Now, we bust out the Planet Arlie of Vegeta's, hopefully. Let's see what we get. Now, it's been a while, because no knock on Big Apple, but I don't know if they were waiting for all of these boxes to sell before they shipped them. But yeah, it, it was like a month it before It took this. a long time yeah. to get these. Yeah, and, I was uh, kind of shocked. Yeah, so I had to keep. I just want to check because obviously they were sixty bucks a piece, and on top of that, um, you know, in the event that there was a four thousand dollar pop in here, I really wanted to make sure there was tracking on it, and so I tracked this thing forever in a day, and uh, yeah, it sat in. It sat in pending status for a while, and then finally it sat in Texas for a minute. Because yeah, I think I got mine before you got. I got yeah, yeah, like a couple days before, right? Yeah, and I ordered before you too. Right. So yeah, mine took a while. Hopefully. So there's numbers on the bottom. There's 453 and 299. So that just tells you how many boxes that there probably were. Yeah. All right, well here you take that. Let me see here. Hold on first. Let's do a weight test. <laughs> Switch it in the right hand. Ooh, yeah. 299 feels heavier. So you might have 453. You can have it. Not yourself that good. Oh, it's on the bottom. So these we haven't done a classic like. Six pop mystery box in a while. Okay. No, no, it's not yeah, so let's see. Let's see what we get. Okay. So without looking, I swear if you if you if you catch no, one of these, nothing is in a. Oh, oh no. But we don't hold on though. We don't we don't know how they shipped them. We don't know if they put them in a hard stock. I would pray to God that they would ship a four thousand dollar pop in a box. I'm just saying, <laughs> just saying. I, I I agree. I would. I would I hope. Just, just pull a pop out, for God's sake. All right. All right. Pull a All pop. Right. Ready? Three, two, two, one. 
You go. Oh God. I'm more of the. Uh, oh, it's Wolverine. El animal indestructible. Animal. God. <laughs> I was hoping that when we were going to get into these, I at least they were going to be anime. Uh, I think there's supposed to be like one. I don't remember. There's, but yeah, I was hoping that these weren't going to be the fillers. And I figured, I was like, I better not get Lucha Luchador fillers. Let's see what I get. I got. Oh, My Jesus. little pony. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. It's like someone went to the Hot Topic uh, clearance bin for these pops. All right, let's see. All right. What'd you get? Space Jam Dom. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Try and get the reflection out. There we go. All right. No sticker. I got... Wow. Lloyd Christmas. Getting a haircut. I like it. The bowl cut. So if it wasn't from Hot Topic, it was from Walmart. The bowl right, cut king, baby. Let's see what we get. All right. Good. Oh, that's cool. Knights of oh, Ren. Oh, a chrome one. Yeah. Yeah, Knights of Ren arm cannon. Yeah. That's Those cool. are kind of hard to find. Yeah. The chrome ones, yeah. All right. No sticker. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Ooh, from Starship Troopers. Yeah, this is one of my favorite movies. Oh, yeah, it, it, is, a good, it, on it is a good movie. Yeah, so that's... Uh, John Razak. No, it's Gene uh, Radchek. Uh, yeah, the teacher. Radchek. Yeah, the teacher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. That's cool. I'll take that. I like Starship Troopers. I have the Rico and the Beetle, so put that over there. All right. Ready? And... Yeah. No, no chase. No. Okay, Blue, Blue Fairy Blue from Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Okay, doke. The excitement is oozing from this, because obviously when you're expecting the $4,000 pop and you get stuck with stuff that you can find readily available at your GameStops, Walmarts, or Targets, you're not going to be that excited. The, the, the mood kind of... Yeah, the mood is dampened. Kind of dropped a little okay, bit. Okay, let's see here. Another pop. Coming in. Coming hot. No sticker. Ready, go. So it's not a gnarly of Vegeta. Ha! Yes! Oh, man. <laughs> because what's the most popular of the Lucha Libre figures? Captain Marvel. The Captain Marvel one. Oh, God. All right. All right. Let's see what else we got. Ready? Mm -hmm. So let's see. No sticker on either one of these. We'll pop this one, and it's Alan Parrish from Jumanji. Okay, just like I said, pops you don't. You got a couple pops that you don't normally like, see. You don't see I... Dom a whole lot. You don't see the Chrome Trooper. Yeah. You don't see yeah. a lot of Alan Parrish. Yeah, not so much. Okay, no sticker. Come on now. Just give me something different. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, number 493 of People with your mystery boxes, for the love of God. Oh, that's great. Please stop putting these types of pops in every mystery box that you make. Oh, I don't want Lucha Libre pops. I don't want Brett Michael pops anymore. I don't even have a chase. I've opened like 10 mystery boxes. Ten Brett Michaels. Haven't even gotten the chase out of all of it. Not even the best part of them. I found a chase. You found a chase, yeah. In the wild, I found a chase, which is very rare. My last one is FYE exclusive Piccolo. We get an FYE exclusive? Oh, so, okay, so you do get an exclusive. So this was one maybe that you do get an exclusive. Oh, yeah, okay. Because So you get an exclusive anime figure no matter what, but you could get the Planet Arley Vegeta. That's right. I couldn't remember if... Oh, so he's doing the Special Beam Cannon. Yeah, so I couldn't remember if this was the box or if it, or if that was something I saw on Amazon, but this is it. And sure enough, my last pop has a sticker. It is a big square sticker, so it could be a Big Apple collectible one. Maybe it's Planet Vegeta. No, because that's a circle. This is a square. Here's, we got... Maybe Box Lunch? Oh, hello! Mirio Togota. Mirio Togata. Sorry. Lemillion. Chalice Collectibles. That is really cool. I have this one already for my collection, but I... You know what? Big Apple, you saved yourself. Because even though this pop is not worth $60 and you sent me a Brett Michaels pop, you sent me a My Hero Academia pop. So I'll take that. That's fine. All right. So those, and a DBZ pop. Yeah. Oh, I just realized these are all mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Enjoy that, but yeah, that was that was disheartening. All right, well, wait, you wanna do you wanna go through value and see what they are? Or? Yeah, sure. Let's see. Let's wow, see. so much enthusiasm. Let's see who won this. Yeah, no, let's go. Let's go. We haven't done a we haven't done a versus in a while. No, it's been a minute. So let's see here. So I think we should wait and do the stickered ones last. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, let's see where uh, old Brett Michaels falls under first. Let's get this out. Five let's, bucks. Let's just get him out of the way, please. Just get. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, twelve dollars is going up in value. Well, look oh, at nice. that. That's twelve bucks. 
So blue fairy is 13. Okay, let's see if our stati or statisticians are in the back. Statisticians? Statisticians. All right, 12 bucks for the cotton candy, My Little Pony, which okay. my daughter is eyeing, so, so that might be hers. For me, Alan Parrish. Good, you can have this. <laughs> Seven dollars for Mr. Parrish. Okay. So, Rick, coming out, that, coming out got, swinging. What do you got, 20, and I'm at 24, I think, so far? Oh, good. Taylor is keeping score. Oh, good. I can't wait to get Captain Marvel out of the way. Twelve dollars. Dom. Oh, you were doing so well. So well, I was doing it for oh, me. Oh my goodness, what yep. is going on with your phone? Oh, there we go. It, Eleven. Okay. So the good news is, like I said, we spent sixty bucks. We're gonna get the value back in them. Yeah. Um, it's just. Like I said, you get a lot of these pops that you still find on the shelves elsewhere. I was hoping just to find some, like, I don't really care what they were. I was just hoping to find some pops from, like, 2018, 2019. These are still from, like, 2020. But, uh, yeah, Lloyd is $13. So, once again, like, not 12 13 bucks a pop I'll take. Not bad. Um, El Animal Indestructible, or otherwise known as Wolverine, uh, 12 Cool. Uh, Gene, I want to say it's pronounced, like, Radchek. It's Radchek. Yeah, Radchek. Uh, he thought, I'm gonna movie. say he's like nine bucks, seven dollars. Oh, yeah, that's a blow right there. Yeah, that pop, uh, those pops didn't sell well. Wow, Chrome Knights of Ren arm cannon, six bucks. Mm. Wow, okay. that's that's low. So, my boy Mirio Lamillion, let's see where he's at. Oh man, eleven bucks. Okay, don't matter though. He's a my hero pop. And metallic him. piccolo, fourteen. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Ricky I think, won by I think, a couple bucks. I also, if anything, so I you had be... Paris, so you had the stinker of Paris, but I had the stinker of Gene Redcheck. Yeah. Yeah, so let's they... see here. So we're telling the totals. Who won? Who's next? You decide. Let's see here. We're doing the math right now. As... Now, now, really, the person who won was Ricky, because he doesn't have these 12 pops. He still has a chance to get the, the Arlia Vegeta. I'm hoping I get it. Yeah, but I got these. And so let's see. What did we end up with? Survey says. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Ricky, how do you want it? It's fine. Sixty-three. Ricky, I'm on the left. I'm on the left, so you won. I'm on the left, sixty-three. Ah, I won by oh, nice. 60, so a couple bucks. Sixty-seven dollars for me. Sixty-three dollars for Ricky. Um, after shipping, they were about sixty bucks. So uh, six, you know, we came out with a couple bucks of profit. Yep. Um, as much crap as I give them, these were still fun because, like I said, to pay fifty bucks to maybe crack open a four thousand dollar Grail. Um, but yeah, and also getting the anime exclusive as a plus, yep. that was fun. So, all right, well, and we get to make videos for you. Yeah, yeah, and so uh, yeah, we're gonna be back because um, we don't want to do a video with the other unboxings. Um, so we're gonna do a second video. So stay tuned. Uh, we will be uh, filming again shortly with another round of mystery Grail boxes and uh, another round of the Big Apple Collectible Boxes. And as always, we are Mr. Collectibles. We're at the Paradise Valley Antique Mall on the corner of Pecos and Russell out there in uh, Las Vegas by the airport. Booth 31, come on by, check us out. These pops are gonna be in the booth. Uh, yeah, just come on by and check us out. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Uh, subscribe on the uh, YouTube channel. Like the Facebook page. Uh, follow us on Instagram, all that good stuff, all right? So we'll be back in a little bit. Thank you guys. Thanks guys. Bye guys.